Airport security is unlike any other job in the world. You never quite know what you're going to find. Some passengers try to sneak all manner of odd things onto the plane, and we're going to show you the oddest. These are the craziest things found by airport security. Number 15. Ivory Coast Boy Smuggled to Spain Inside Suitcase Images from this extraordinary human trafficking attempt were beamed around the world in 2015. A young boy at the center of the story would eventually be reunited with his mother, but this kind of desperate action isn't really in the same category as toupee smuggling and intercepted insects. The Spanish enclave Ciota at the tip of Morocco is a place where many migrants and asylum seekers attempt to cross over into Europe. This is where the Guardia Civil, Spain's police, discovered an eight-year-old boy being smuggled over the border in a wheeled suitcase. They stopped a young woman who seemed nervous as she was going through the customs checkpoint, and on passing her luggage through a scanner, discovered what appeared to be a human concealed inside. Opening the case, a young boy would be revealed in a terrible state. The woman said that she had been paid by the boy's father to bring the suitcase through. It's a complex story involving an attempt by the boy's father to bring his family together in the face of strict and inhumane immigration laws. Few people would put their child in such a dangerous situation if there was really an alternative, and you'd hope so anyway. But it's really just one of those thousands of stories of people in desperate situations trying to make better lives for their families. And that's really what any of us want in the end, right? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14 dead birds found in passengers' luggage at Dulles Airport. But on a different note, you seriously have to really wonder about some people. We all have items that we might choose to travel with, perhaps a good luck charm in your pocket or your beat up old backpack, a paperback book, but dead birds? That's a whole other category altogether. There are some fairly robust rules about what you can and can't bring into the United States. From the obvious, like weaponry, not necessary, there are plenty of things available to purchase, to fruit and vegetables. Crossing borders with produce or plants can bring invasive pests into the country. In fact, livestock is also on the list, but dead stock? Well, to transport anything weird and wonderful, you basically need a permit. Bringing more than the regular pants and shirts? You better be prepared to explain yourself to a burly and unamused security official, because the United States takes this stuff very seriously. So, when a passenger arriving at Washington, D.C.'s Dulles Airport from Beijing was stopped at customs, they were carrying packages of what appeared to be cat food, but what it actually was was super weird and gross. A package that contained loads of little dead birds. Ew. Needless to say, the package would be confiscated and incinerated, but what anyone would want with a bag of sad little dead birds is really anyone's guess. Number 13. Gun Hidden in DVD Player at JFK International Airport You just have to wonder at the thought process behind this one. Surely anyone who's traveled through an airport basically forever knows that the main shape that those security scanners are looking for is the shape of a gun. So what this guy was thinking is really beyond me. The 9mm handgun found in his checked luggage had been wrapped in aluminum foil and then concealed inside a DVD player. It was picked up by the security scanner at New York's JFK airport, where a man would be departing on his way to Mexico. And again, if you really need a gun, these things are basically available for purchase in a whole lot of places, man. Why are you even trying to take it with you in the first place? Although it is actually illegal to carry firearms on board a flight in your carry-on, U.S. law does allow weapons to be transported in the hold luggage if they're checked. So there are a whole load of strict rules about it, but if you're that attached to your weapon, you may be able to pack it in your suitcase under certain conditions. 
Otherwise, if you're caught in possession of a firearm at airport security, you'll be arrested, charged with weapons violations, and walloped with a massive fine just like this guy was. Back in 2019, the TSA in the United States seized a total of 4,432 guns at checkpoints. Most of them were loaded, and chillingly, many with a bullet in the chamber. That's totally reckless and crazy by anyone's standards. Number 12. Tiger Cub Found in Suitcase at Thai Airport for Pete's sake, what do people really think? This is insane on so many levels. Airport security staff at Bangkok International Airport would discover a baby tiger cub hidden inside of a suitcase of a woman who was flying from Thailand to Iran. The three-month-old tiger had been drugged and placed into the luggage along with a stuffed toy tiger. The bag had been classified as overweight and would therefore be sent to be x-rayed before being loaded onto the aircraft. And it's extremely fortunate that it was. The x-ray showed a live animal was concealed inside and animal protection people were immediately called in. The woman claimed that she had no idea what was in the luggage and had been asked to carry it on by somebody else. Isn't that always the excuse? She was then arrested and charged with wildlife smuggling, which carries a hefty fine and up to four years prison sentence in Thailand. Apparently, the illegal trade in exotic pets is big business in Iran, which was the onward destination of the little tiger. But given this poor state that it was in when it would be discovered, it's unlikely that the little guy would have actually survived the journey. So it's very fortunate that security picked up on this unusual baggage. I mean, how well would you fare being drugged and then stuffed in a suitcase and loaded in the hold of an airplane, traveling for five hours and being chucked around by baggage handlers anyway? Number 11. Man caught with pound of cocaine under his toupee. A man's unusually <laughs> high hair would alert airport security that there was something distinctly fishy going on. Police? They're still combing the area for clues. <laughs> <laughs> Barcelona Airport Security stopped a man who had arrived from Bogota, Colombia because there was something unusual about his disproportionately sized wig. It turns out that it was concealing, albeit not very convincingly, a pound of cocaine that was taped to his head underneath. The nervous man had 1.1 pounds of cocaine, which is apparently worth $34,000, all wrapped up in a neat little bundle under his extremely high hairpiece. He would be arrested by Spanish police, and no doubt there will be hell to pay. <laughs> they just keep coming. Where smuggling techniques are getting more unusual, like inside of breast implants and hollowed out pineapples, this hiding place stuck out for all the wrong reasons. It's gotta be bad enough to feel anxious that people are looking at your fake hair in the first place, let alone that it's also stuffed full of drugs. Number 10. Man busted for smuggling 94 iPhones strapped to his body. In a scene that's reminiscent of the old watches under the overcoat trick, a man was stopped at Hong Kong airport with 94 iPhones strapped to his body. Apparently having this many phones taped around yourself can make you walk a little bit funny, and that's how the guy first drew the attention of customs officials as he attempted to smuggle a whole bunch of then new iPhones from Hong Kong into mainland China. The year was 2015 and a new Apple product had just launched, but its release was delayed in China, so the smuggling of iPhones to sell was a booming, if legally dubious, business. This particular smuggling attempt would be a bit slapdash though. In fact, it kind of stinks. The dude had phones strapped to every conceivable body part, concealed only by a big red sweater and baggy trousers. But that isn't the most stupid part of the story. Then he went through the metal detector, and guess what happened? All of the sirens and lights would be set off, and obviously the stash of contraband would be quickly discovered after that. You just have to wonder if he remembered to turn all 94 of them off if he had actually made it onto the plane. Number 9. A man was arrested at the airport for having human skull in his luggage. Looks like you're gonna have to repack that suitcase. It turns out that traveling with human bones in your luggage 
isn't allowed. <laughs> I know, what a bombshell. But you'll have to leave your skulls and such behind the next time you travel, even if you are a traveling theater company and you like to take poor Yorick everywhere you go. So when this German professor would be traveling through an airport in Rome, he would be taken aback to be confronted by customs officials who were interested in the human remains that he had in his suitcase. When questioned by border police, the man had no idea that it was illegal to transport dead bones across borders and claimed that he had purchased the skull from a market stall for 50 euros, saying that it was well polished but without its lower jaw. Anyway, the hapless guy would be arrested for illegally possessing human remains, and his unusual luggage was then sent to the scientific department of Italy's police force for analysis. They're planning to test the skull for DNA to try and establish its origin. Number 8. 200 Live Tarantulas Found in Suitcase like the opening sequence of a completely ridiculous action movie, the discovery of 200 live tarantulas in a German couple's luggage would lead to some questions being asked. The pair's suitcase was going through routine scanning at an airport in Amsterdam as they were waiting to catch a connecting flight between Peru and their home destination. Airport security would notice that there was something just a little bit weird about this bag, so they had a closer look. And what they discovered is the stuff of some people's absolute nightmares. Boxes and boxes of live tarantulas. As well as a whole host of other creepy crawlies like millipedes and beetles and grasshoppers. Obviously relieved after being discovered, the insects then began to escape. You can imagine the chaos that ensued. Grasshoppers leaping all over the place, spiders giving people the creeps, beetles hitching a ride in backpacks. It's enough to make your skin crawl. When all the bugs had been gathered up again and successfully captured, they were then promptly confiscated, which is no doubt a relief for many arachnophobes traveling throughout Amsterdam. At least they probably captured them all. I really doubt there are any tarantulas left hiding out in that airport. Probably not, but did they really count them all? Number 7. Woman charged with smuggling fish in skirt. This is officially one of the silliest smuggling so far. A woman arriving in Melbourne for Singapore was stopped as she attempted to pass throughout customs when the border cops thought they heard a flipping noise coming from her waist. I mean, how does that even go? And what exactly is a flipping noise? Anyways, these customs officials were right. There was definitely something fishy about this lady. Upon closer examination, the officers would discover that the woman was wearing a specially designed sort of apron under her skirt, and it contained loads of pockets, and inside those were bags upon bags of live fish. All like fairground goldfish, just staring out from their sad little plastic bag bowls. Australia has some of the most strict customs regulations on Earth. Smuggling wildlife is a serious offense. And if this woman is found guilty, <laughs> she could face a heavy prison sentence and a massive fine. The customs people were investigating which species of fish were involved before they charged her. Number 6. $1.2 million in gold bars found stashed in a Boeing 737's bathroom. This next story airs on the side of being pretty weird, because I can't really fathom it. Let me know if you understand what actually happened here in the comments below. A stash of literal gold bars would be discovered in the bathroom of an airplane during the routine end-of-day check. Two bags, filled with no less than 24 of these bars of gold, were discovered by staff as the plane was returned to Kolkata for the night after having traveled from Mumbai to Bangkok earlier in the day. But just how exactly does a person go about misplacing a couple bags of gold in the loo of a plane, then getting off that plane and just going home? Turns out that this surprise haul would be worth somewhere in the region of $1.2 million. So it's not like you just found out that you had a hole in your pocket and lost all your loose change. Also, I'm not an expert, but exactly where in an airplane bathroom could you actually conceal anything at all? There's barely room to back into those compartments for crying out loud, let alone hide 53 pounds of solid gold. Number five. 
Screeners find six smoke grenades in airline passenger's bag. A guy heading to the Dominican Republic had his carry-on luggage intercepted at Newark International Airport when his scanner spotted something a little bit hinky going on in his bag. How many times do you need to be told that smoke bombs and airplanes don't mix? That's pretty obvious, right? Although it is apparently perfectly legal to purchase and carry military-grade smoke bombs in New Jersey, it's not actually permitted to pop them into your hand luggage on a flight. Just imagine what would happen if these things were to go off in the cabin midway through. This guy had wrapped up six smoke grenades in thick bubble wrap and then stuffed them into his carry-on before attempting to take them with him to the Dominican Republic. You know, like anyone else would. Anyways, when the bag went through the x-ray conveyor belt, it spun off and was examined more closely by the security staff. They removed the smoke grenades but allowed the passenger to pass them over to a friend who was not due to fly, and then he carried on his way. Not illegal, perhaps, but you kind of have to ask why this guy felt the need to transport no less than six smoke grenades in the first place. Number 4 baby monkeys and lemurs found inside suitcase. Again with the animal smuggling. I mean, seriously, would these people like to be stuffed into a suitcase and thrown around by baggage handlers? Probably not. So why do these bright sparks keep bunging baby animals in their baggage and expecting it to be just dandy? Stop all the monkeying around with these wild animals. That's quite enough. A guy had traveled from Vietnam to Russia with a suitcase full of monkeys before anyone had even noticed that there were some weird noises coming from it. He was finally stopped at the airport customs in Russia, and that's where border cops would unpack his bag to discover five baby monkeys and five baby lemurs in wicker boxes crammed into the case. These animals had clearly suffered on their journey and had apparently traveled the entire time without adequate food or water. So the guy was arrested and charged with a whole lot of monkey business, including animal cruelty and smuggling. The animals would then be taken to be cared for at the Moscow Zoo. You poor babies. Number 3. Spanish Police Discover Two Migrants Hidden Inside Mattresses a nightmare or a horror story, however you look at it, there's no escaping the truth. If you're only here for silliness and kooky videos, you may want to skip ahead because there are no jokes in this one. Imagine feeling so desperate for a better chance at life, for the opportunity to just be alive, that you'll risk your life making the dangerous and expensive journey from your home to Europe. That's how it is for thousands of people who are displaced by war, poverty, and disaster as they attempt to find a way to survive and support their families. The way these stories are often depicted misses so much of humanity that lies within them. People don't want to leave their homes behind, they don't want to risk their lives in treacherous crossings or at the hands of ruthless traffickers, and they see no other option that's available to them. That's how these two young men found themselves stitched into mattresses that were traveling into Spain at the mercy of a human trafficker and ultimately then into the custody of Spanish border guards. It's sad and deeply troubling at the same time to just imagine for a moment how it would feel to be trapped for days inside of a fabric coffin. <laughs> No light, barely able to breathe, wondering if you'll ever be out of there again. It's all kind of harrowing, really. Number 2. Canadian Woman Arrested Smuggling Cocaine in Fake Baby Bump an attempt to smuggle two kilos of cocaine from Bogota in Colombia to Canada in a pretend pregnancy belly would be foiled before it even got off the ground. A 28-year-old Canadian woman was caught by Colombian border officials who apparently noticed that the bump was unusually cold and hard. They then uncovered a huge stash of coke that was hidden inside of the latex belly. It's important to remember, though, that although it is easy enough to point a finger at a smuggler who gets caught by customs, those doing the transportation of the illegal items are rarely the ones who are even profiting. 
In fact, the mules, as they're called, are usually vulnerable people who are being coerced or exploited by more powerful individuals and organizations. So all judgment aside, people do crazy things for so many different reasons, and sometimes they just feel like they have no choice. And because of some other greedy piece of garbage, this young woman is no doubt serving a long and hideous prison sentence in Colombia, which is pretty awful of an outcome by anyone's standards. Number 1. Tourists caught smuggling 48 live eels through airport. Good grief. This could definitely have rapidly descended into like a snakes on a plane kind of thing. Why? Just why would you do this? Even if your absolute favorite snack is eels, and for some reason, people, they just love that weird wobbly fish. It takes all sorts, you know. Why would you need quite so many of them? Apparently, though, there was a whole group of passengers traveling from Madrid airport to China who had between them a total of no less than 48 live eels in their checked luggage. The eels would be mercifully contained in special chilled suitcases rather than just bunged into a backpack, so I guess it could have been messier. Oddly enough, and perhaps hilariously enough, it is not legal to smuggle a whole bunch of eels through customs in onto an airplane. In fact, it's kind of frowned upon. Who knew? It goes without saying that the stash of wrigglers would be confiscated and never made its way to its final destination. They were sent off to the aquarium in Madrid to establish what kind of eel they were. There's that regular old common one, but there's also a protected species kind, which would really make the whole smuggling thing another level of illegal. So there you have it. Definitely some of the craziest stuff that people have tried and failed to get through airport security. You just have to ask yourself though, what has made it through? What insane things have slipped past the eagle-eyed airport cops? I can barely dare to imagine. Let me know all about your airport security blunders in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.